So my name is Donovan. I'm going to show you how I configured Osculator using the remote to control Reason's instruments. So as you can see in Osculator already, it's already discovered. To get it discovered, you just click Start and then push the two two sync buttons. You know, make it find it. And you see right here, your MAC address has already showed up and everything for the Wiimote. And what you do basically is you choose a function, you push any button. Right now I push Z, Z button. And that triggers, chose to make that trigger MIDI CC, you know, MIDI note, A sharp. So, you can choose any kind of parameter, pretty much, mouse, key commands, MIDI CC values. So once you have all that set up, then you go into your reason settings and you choose that you want the osculator to be a MIDI controller. So now that I have that set up, I just built a simple groove to, you know, play over. But what I did was I made these, the roll on the nunchuck control the frequency cutoff and reason for the maelstrom and it also kind of messes with the semi you know tuning of the oscillator the semitones of oscillator a just give it a little weird vibe but this pitch gives it the octave control of oscillator a so you get more low frequency stuff and it's fun it makes a nice sound to sweep the frequency cutoff with once you get the lower octaves in there. So we got that going on. And then I set it up so I have two presets that I can control with the D-pad. So when I go left, it goes to different note values. It's pretty much the same preset, just different notes. B flat, you know, kind of thing. Another one's C minor type of thing. And I set the release real, real long because you know I want to be able to switch back and forth between the subtractor and the maelstrom. So I just set it up so that the up and down arrow, arrow D-pad keys on the Wii mote correspond to the keys on the keyboard, just arrow keys, you know, up and down. But, you know, it doesn't want the Wiimote now, so I don't have to go back and forth to the keyboard. So when I go up here, got this controlling the frequency cutoff, the roll of the nunchuck. It's also manipulating a bunch of the, you know, scents and semitones. Gives it kind of this weird robot, like, you know, just funky sound, like. This one's more of like an abstract kind of thing, the other one's more of an actual tone, but personality. But like, like I said, I could just go right back down, go right back to the maelstrom, so I set up a little groove that I, you know, just play over and got a little bass that swells in every once in a while, I'll just give it some extra deep end, but a little performance, you can see all the parameters moving. basically do any of these things with Osculator. It's very easy to set up. You just click Start Discovery, make sure your Bluetooth is on, sync it up with the Wiimote pressing the 1 and 2 button, or you might have to open up the back cover and push the little sync button in the back of the Wiimote. Once you're in there, you can pull up the MIDI implementation chart for a reason found in the documentation folder in your application's reason file. And, uh, you know, just mess around. Try a few different things, get some cool sounds, and have fun, you know.